question for you uh, about the impact of getting that 100 mile per gallon car versus the impact of simply raising the bar for existing vehicles. Yeah. Uh, you know, if we look at the penetration of existing hybrids, for example, mm -hmm. it's pretty tiny. And I, I worry a little bit in our, uh, as we, we fight with the, you know, Scylla and Charybdis of peak oil and climate change, mm -hmm that we're focusing on this idea that we're going to have one magic bullet. Right. You know, as opposed to, you know, the lots and lots of incremental changes at scale. Yeah. And can you talk about how this stuff trickles down so that in addition to the 100 mile per gallon car, we get just more cars that go from, you know, instead yeah. of getting 20, get 30. Uh, yeah. Or instead of 30, get 40. Right. Great question, uh, and I couldn't agree with you more. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you there is a silver bullet coming out of this competition. That's not the case. In fact, uh, the case is, as I was describing earlier, that we have multiple approaches going on here uh, and being tried, and any one or number of them might actually stick, gain a niche, and build into a mass market. That's the ultimate hope. So uh, I could see in the future there being much more, as I mentioned, mission-specific or purpose-built vehicles where uh, you know, the combustion engine isn't, say, going to go away. I don't, I don't, you know, it may someday, uh, but that's not what we're out here to, to necessarily do. What we are out here is to give consumers far more choice when it comes to efficient vehicles. And that could be a natural gas vehicle for some people. That could be an ethanol vehicle, combustion engine vehicle for some people. It could be a battery electric or plug-in for some people. And it could be a, still a Duramax diesel Hemi uh, for others because, you know, they got to tow 10,000 pounds and they got to work, you know, they got to use it in, at the work site. Um, so it's, like I said, it's, it's not all things to all people uh, anymore. Uh, that's the direction that I see it going, is now we will have more, I think, purpose-built vehicles uh, moving into the, uh, move, as we move into the future, and they'll be far more efficient, and especially if we start to see, you know, gradual increases in the price of, uh, of fuel. That's ultimately energy pricing is fundamental. That has to happen one way or another, whether the market does it or whether governments do it or both. Uh, 